Day five, I believe. I've lost track at the moment. Um, I, I think I stopped counting past day three, or I tried to count, but I couldn't do it. Um, anyway, just along the road, walking down. Absolutely lovely day, not raining. It's a bit cloudy, but at least it's not raining. The wind is uh, really settled as well, so great it's great so I think it's my first day of it not raining so I'm very very happy with that um, plan for today is just hike until I feel dead pretty much and um, just hike anywhere I've got um, about three days until I stay in the mountain hut that I've booked out for two nights. I wanted to stay there, so I've got somewhere to um, dry all my gear off because everything is soaked. Even the waterproof covers are soaked. Putting my jacket on today was not a nice feeling. So yeah, I'm damp everywhere. So it will be really nice to dry all my stuff out. Um, I thought that was an eagle then. Don't know if you can see it. So yeah, let's hike on. Morning everyone. Just stepped out my tent and looked up. It's blue skies today, which I'm so happy about. I haven't seen blue skies since I landed in Scotland. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, like I said, I've just woken up, had a really good sleep last night. I think it's the first night since I stayed at the campsite where it's been like level ground. Everywhere else I've camped has been um, quite uneven or sloped. So it's a really nice sleep. I think today I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to move on today as the mountain hut I'm staying at is literally down the road. Gonna have a coffee this morning. First coffee of the trip. Oh, this is my little brew kit with everything in. So I'm gonna wait for that to boil. Voila! Thanks for the coffee, John. have some black coffee and then sit on my little rock just watch the views I'm living my best life here oh I think it's boiled yeah it has love that so being alone for the past five days pretty much has given me a lot of chance to think, get inside my own head and reflect on myself and the journey that I'm on. I know I say a lot that I reflect on what chapter I am on my life, but I think this has really helped just being on my own, being completely self-reliant surrounded with 
mountains and streams and be able to collect my own water that's like pure, it's got no chemicals, fluoride in it and just being in such a pretty area with no nothing stimulating my mind like a TV, a computer, um, anything like that. Just letting my mind kind of like run wild and not having constant intelligent companionship all the time. And I think it's good just to have that even if it was just once a year just to kind of go on your own little pilgrimage on your own and just self-reflect just spend time on your own doing things that you want to do at your own pace making your own routine not following something that's set out for you and planned none of this trip's been really planned only the flight here and the transport but everything else has just been up to me and it's just gone with the flow and I think it's best that way this two weeks will really let me appreciate how lucky I am to have the opportunity to come to these places and feel free and some people don't get that opportunity and I feel really sorry for them because I know if I didn't have this opportunity I'd be really I don't know, there'd always be a void that I couldn't fill because this is where I feel most alive this is where I want to be and I've been thinking I want to live this life for a long time just maybe in a van touring around the world or backpacking a country and just keep on doing it because I love this way of life and the feeling that it gives me it is really challenging the first two the first days in on this road were really challenging I was being hit by rain I was cold, all my stuff was soaked, my sleep system was damp, it was hard getting to sleep because I was cold and I was tent bound constantly but that, that challenge is where I felt most alive and it was so rewarding getting through it and trying to keep your morale high and now looking back it's made these days easier when it's not raining. It's challenging environment but it's so rewarding and it's just I love the change. It's so nice waking up to a new place every day. So yeah there's my some of my self-reflection while I'm having my coffee. Trying, I just kind of drift off sometimes when you're looking at the mountains and it's so peaceful, you've just got the noise of the stream behind me. Yeah. Go into a lot of fault. <laughs> Another thing I love is it's so nice that you get the chance to wild camp and you it's it's allowed to wild camp there's no rules on it it's so nice being able to just walk and pitch up your tent anywhere because you're allowed to and you're not worried that you're going to get kicked off or told to move on i think the rule is this is what i think or what i've heard is that you're only allowed to stay in one place for I think it's four days and then you have to move on but yeah that's another great opportunity that we don't get down south as much all along this road 
there's little fire pits like this one, like rock fire pits, just scattered around for people to use or next people to camp. And it's just, yeah, it's lovely. You can have a fire and you're allowed to have one. There's no rules, no ban. And everyone's pretty respectful about it. Um, putting it in a pit and kind of kind of crush it down, put the fire out before they leave. My mum and dad stayed in this exact pulling they showed me on the video. Just at the bottom here, if you watch their video on Bushwhacker Man's channel, they did the North Coast 500 like a month ago in their Land Rover and they, I don't know whereabouts it was, I think it was just on this gravel area they pitched up. So if you watch their video now you'll see where they camped. So they had the Land Rover and the Oz tent set near where my tent is. And my dad built this cute little fire pit. And it's just weird sitting here knowing that he's built it. But yeah, it's a nice little fire pit. Got a wind block. I rate that 7 out of 10. Well done. <laughs> I'm joking, that's a pretty good one on the. It's nice, got a little fire reflector. Guys, you're not going to believe it. The sun is out. I'm so happy. It's the first time I've seen the sun since I've been here and it's going to be sunny today it's actually mad so yeah I'm going to get my gear out dry some of it out my tent's dry and lovely now oh it's just great having the sunshine <laughs> oh you don't know how happy I am right now <laughs> woo <laughs> It's made my day now. It's made my day. My camp shoes are making a feature again. I'm literally in love with these. They're so comfortable. I've just been walking around in them. It's nice just putting these on in the mornings instead of boots. I'm starting to get a blister on the back of this ankle from the boots. So it's really nice to wear these. My tent's getting some time to dry out. Started getting some other bits and bobs out as well. I hope no one stops thinking that I'm having a outdoor car boot or a sail on. <laughs> That's literally what it looks like. I mean, got everything out. Well, not everything, but. A lot of stuff just lying about trying to dry it off. There's my porridge in each little bag that I have my porridge in. The mix with the walnuts and the raisins, I put a sachet of sugar just so it's a bit nicer. There we go. Lovely. That's my breakfast for this morning and the two weeks. <laughs>
I did it. So I've just come on a little bit of a trek, um, starting up this mountain. So yeah, it's really hot once you start walking. It's um, really nice today, really warm. As I was walking up, I just saw large deer scat everywhere and their trail of marks where they've walked up here. So yeah, this might be where they live up there or they just roam around in here but yesterday when I was setting up my tent I heard loads of shooting obviously this is the season for hunting um, a lot of I was looking before I came at bovies because I was going to stay in a bovie near here which is like a a basic building like concrete or stone building with like um maybe a platform to put your sleeping bag or some some of them have like wood burners and some of them have food and somewhere you can cook in there so I was looking into bovies but they were all the ones I was looking at were shut because it's hunting season so yeah I've just got to watch out for that but it's absolutely stunning, really nice. I just wanted to come on a little walk and get a view, a better view. I don't think I'll go all the way up. I'll probably leave that to when I'm at the hut, which is further down. I'll probably leave all my stuff at the hut and just take my day bag like this one and um, do that instead. I think it's raining at four o'clock through till like 10. So I wanna be back by then. I don't wanna get soaked like the previous days. So I think I'll go up a little bit and then just sit for a while and make my way back down again. And I was also looking at going down near the river because there's little huts down there that I'd like to have a look at. I'll just see how much time I have. It's nice having like days off, like rest days, because you can come and explore on them days. I suppose it's not really a rest day, but instead of walking on. A lot of my stuff's dried out. There's still a few things, like my gloves are ringing. I couldn't dry them out. Even the fire and the sun couldn't dry them out, so. In the hut I have a wood burner, so a lot of my gear I'll just put around there. Whew. Yeah. Way. So stunning. I'll just give you a little view round. You're up in the sky, I'll carry you home. Home to the mountain. And soon, my friend, you'll see them again The ones you left behind The ones you left behind And I'll sing for you
Day seven today. Today marks a week I've been in Scotland now, which is crazy. It's gone so quick, really quick. It's the first time I've seen a stag. It's got huge antlers. So earlier um, I bumped into a guy who had a van and was just coming down this road. Um, I think his wife did landscape photography so he was like being her caddy and um, driving her down here so she can get some photos. Um, so yeah, I had a look at his van conversion. It's really cool, really nice, and yeah, it's really inspired me to really want to get a van now. So, he was like, it really intrigues him that women come out and do this stuff on their own. And he was like, "What? why would you want to do this on your own alone? Um, going solo and I guess everyone's got their different reasons for going solo and doing hikes or just camping on their own but for me personally it was I think the trip coming here on my own was a sort of escapism from the daily life I live in a town back home and it's quite busy, it's polluted and there's loads of people and sometimes you just need to get away, get some space and collect your thoughts and I think Scotland has been such a brilliant place to do that. It's so wild and I feel like it's just a great place to come and explore and really self-reflect, I guess. So yeah, that's why I wanted to do this solo. Get a chance to be free, escape your normal routine, and you can just do stuff, what you want to do, because there's no one else here dictating, and you can just, you're free to do it, what you want. So, for me, getting out of my comfort zone, I feel that's where I feel most alive and where it feels most real. When you have a lifestyle that you can predict what's going to happen, it becomes very boring, I guess. And that's why I have loved doing this trip, because every day has been so different and you're more in sync with nature like you'll know the weather routine you'll know what time the sun comes up and what time it sets you kind of study the water levels you just become more in sync and especially um, coming in autumn you can really see the change in the climate and the stunning colours that the autumns bring in, all the orange and yellows, and you can just see the 
the environment changing around you. Another reason I've come on my own is so there's no friends I know that enjoy this sort of thing and would have liked doing this. It's very rare that people like the outdoors and that would want to spend two weeks just hiking and living in a tent. It would be nice having a hiking buddy but sometimes it's nice just to do it on your own especially if you like your own space. Obviously I haven't been completely shut off. I still see people but it's having that communication all the time. So yeah, it's been very beneficial and I've learnt so much from this. I've been jotting a lot of things down. I've brought some paper with me. I think it's nice to write things down that come up in your head and things like that. So yeah, it's been so, so relaxing. I felt so free and I've just, I've loved it. It's been so good and I, re I really don't want to leave. I'm going to miss Scotland. Glenative. My point was as well is I was quite shocked that he asked why a woman would want to do this on their own. I know a lot of women do kind of rely on men and go with a man or somebody else. But I feel women are capable of doing this sort of thing on their own. And just because we are not physically as strong as a man and our pain threshold is probably not as high and things like that doesn't mean it should stop us from getting out and going on adventures and being outdoors and relying on ourselves. I feel as a society that's probably what's forced us into that, that area of not wanting to go on our own and be on our own and kind of been fear mongered into that. I'm a 17 year old woman and I've coped pretty well being on my own. I know it's been a week and I'm not completely shut off but I've been fine doing this on my own. I know it does come with a lot of dangers, probably when it comes to safety as of being being a woman. Just found a bone in the water here. Looks like it's off a probably a deer. Just come down to the river. So I was up there earlier, and I've just come down here, because it's so nice. I'm just sitting on this little beach area. really tempted to go for a little swim. It's so warm.
shadows fail Golden hair across your face And the way that you smell Call it serendipity Providence or Day five, it, day five, day seven is coming to an end now. It's getting dark. Just been sitting here this evening reading my favourite book of all time, Into the Wild, if you haven't read it, by John Krakauer. Um, yeah, amazing book that is. I've, I think it's the third time that I'm going to read it. Yeah, so I love it a lot, and it's it fits the environment that I'm in and what I'm doing. So I really, really enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a really nice day. That wash was so much so needed, really needed. Um, and I move into the hut tomorrow, which I'm super excited about, just so I can have a thorough wash and now I can wash some of my clothes and um, charge some of my stuff like my camera batteries and my torch and things like that um, I did bring a portable charger with me so I have charged like my phone with that but yeah everything needs topping up as well so yeah it also looks lovely I had a little walk down there today it's not too far away from here and it looks so nice really nice I'm looking forward to having the wood burner as well I've only had small fires around here so it would be so nice having a having a fire having a bit of heat yeah yeah I am starting to feel the hunger today is caught up with me and I do feel quite hungry I'm rationing myself. I think I'm tomorrow or the next day I'm going to lay everything out on the table, the food, and um, show you what I packed with me food wise because I didn't cover that in my loadout video. So, yeah, I'm going to lay it out on the table and you can have a look at what I've got left. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow we'll mark halfway in because um, day seven today I've got eight more days hoping to get down to the lock which is right at the end of the road the road finishes at this huge lock and I want to get down to there it's, the lock runs for miles and miles so I want to at least reach the beginning of it 
and then hike all the way back and I get my coach on the Wednesday and then I get my plane home. So yeah, I don't really want to think about leaving yet because I'm still heading that way, not heading that way. So yeah, it's starting to get chilly. It's clear skies tonight so you can feel that it's a little bit colder in the air. So yeah, I think I'm just going to sit here, read my book and then hit the sack. Yeah, happy days, happy days. It's been so nice not raining for the past three days. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it. And um, yeah, I'm so chilled out right now. So thank you guys. Take care. Turn your lights down low Set your mind to default You just can't undo Undo the harm caused In a memory Where the key got lost It is hard to find What you need